Hi, it's Sarah. Thank you so much for joining me today. I want to start out by saying I'm sorry that my voice is not all the way there right now. My family had the flu for Christmas break and I had it too and it was not very fun, but we're all feeling better and I do feel better, but my voice is still returning. So excuse me if my voice is not great. I wanted to get this winter kitchen decorate with me video out. So I'm not gonna be talking too much in it as I'm sure you understand. But I'm first going to start off by taking down all my Christmas decor in my kitchen. I hope you enjoy and thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry if the lighting is not very good right now. It is very gloomy and rainy here in Arizona and has been for a few days. So I'm sorry about that, but it does get better later on.
So now that I'm done taking down all my Christmas decorations, this is what everything looks like. I already wiped and cleaned everything, so we are ready to start decorating. These are the items that I will be using to decorate my kitchen with, and I will be adding a few more things in, but I got most of these things online at Walmart, and they were on clearance, so they were a great deal, and I thought they would be perfect to decorate for winter with. The only thing I did not get at Walmart right here are those snowflakes, those wooden snowflakes I picked up on Amazon. As you can see, I'm going to be using a lot of neutrals and just keep it simple and just adding to the, the decor that I already have. And I just love how it turned out. Wait until the end to see it all together. If you'd like to know where I got some of these other pieces that I am decorating with that I already had, please let me know in the comments and I will let you know where they came from. Set your mind a default You just can't undo Undo the harm caused Over here I moved my chicken wire shelf just for a little bit and I added in this little wood board that I found at Walmart and I'm just going to make this a little hot cocoa station. My kids still want hot cocoa for at least another month because we love it so I'm just going to make it a little more wintry. And in the end I just love how it turned out. It is so cute and it is perfect for winter. I forgot to show you that estate cozy sign that I found at Walmart. It was also on clearance that I found after Christmas and I accidentally got two of them, but I'm going to keep it because I'm sure I will use it. I think it is so cute. Over here I decided to keep that wood cutting board that's a tree. I just love it so much and I think it works well with the Christmas decorations. Mm -hmm. 
this white wicker basket I found at Dollar General and I just thought it was so cute. It was $14 and I've been looking at one for a while and they're always so expensive. So when I found this one, I just grabbed it and I just love it.
So I bought one of these candles in white as well because they were on clearance. So I bought one in a black and white and I just took the wrapper off that said joy and peace on it. And now it is great for winter and I just love the look of it. I did get some new metal bar stools for Christmas, as you can see right there from my island, and I just love them so much. I've been wanting them for a while, so I'm so happy to get them. They are from Amazon. done decorating my kitchen for winter and I am so in love with how it turned out I think it is so cozy and simple and I love all the neutral colors that I used and I really just love it so let's take a look at everything now that I'm done
you so much for joining me today as I decorated in my kitchen for winter. I had so much fun. It felt so good to take down Christmas and start fresh. Like I said, I am so happy with how it all turned out. I hope you enjoyed this video and it gave you some inspiration to decorate your own space for winter. Please give this video a big thumbs up. I would appreciate it so much and please subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you all have a wonderful and blessed new year and I will see you next time. Bye!